Hello, you're welcome to your favorite channel, What is New TV 247. Today, we're right here at KG Event Center, Oregon, Lagos, Nigeria. It's actually about the transformation that we're talking about in Nigeria. Understanding that the 70 percent of Nigeria that is made up of about 165 million population. 70% is ascribed to the young people and right here we have young and aspiring entrepreneurs that are actually looking out for opportunities that will drive their businesses. Now a big question might come to your mind. What is actually going on here? This is being championed by Parallels Microfinance Bank, a noble uh, financial house that is actually thinking about how to empower people by virtue of training and capacity building and not just giving money. And today, we're going to be meeting some of the participants that will be sharing their thoughts with us. What are their expectations and what are the big things that our resource people are giving them today? My name is Christopher Morris and you're watching your favorite channel, Win TV 247 on YouTube. All right, our distinguished viewers, it's a beautiful day here in Lagos, Nigeria, and we have some people that are championing the cause for business leaders in Nigeria. Nigeria. For every vision, there is a visionaire, and that is why we like to engage the convener of this unique event going down here, K and G Center, Oregon, Lagos, Nigeria. Sir, please can you join us? Thank you. Sir, we would like you to introduce yourself. My name is Pastor Femi Oteni Babi. I'm the managing director of Parallax Microfinance Bank. Sir, we understand that for every vision there is a visionaire. You run a financial house. But you felt young and aspiring entrepreneurs in Nigeria need the tools to drive their business. That's right. Why this initiative? No great country or no country becomes great without entrepreneurship. It's not about the eight to five work. It's about men and women that would identify needs. It's not about creating something new, but about men and women that identify needs and meet those needs. And when you are able to drive that right from the youth, from young folks, and even people that are young and hard, of course, you would be sure of the future of the country. And because we are a microfinance bank, that from the coinage of our regulatory authorities, which is the central bank, you are supposed to empower the unbanked, empower the poor. So we organize the seminar in the background for people to understand the basic requirements of how you can build on your idea and how with your idea you can package yourself and from packaging yourself you can talk to a financial institution like ours and you will be listened to. A lot of times entrepreneurs are not listened to because most times they think it's a matter of money. You don't need to need your, use your money. But once you have a viable idea, people will buy into it. Sir, so, so I want to thank you for that. So how would you define the Nigerian young entrepreneur? The Nigerian and a young entrepreneur is very dynamic. Very dynamic. Um, the young entrepreneur in Nigeria believes that nothing is impossible. But you need to create the, the fertile ground. You need to create an enable, enabling environment, which is this, not, not what a lot of people, politicians talk about, because no government will actually create jobs. The government will never create jobs. They can try, but they will never be able to. So we are driving the same entrepreneurship skill, because the young entrepreneur in Nigeria can do almost anything. So that's quite sensitive now. So we do that together huge numbers of microfinance banks in Nigeria. That's right. Would you like you to tell us some of your USP? Um, now, in Parallax, we will tell you that we are upgrading people, upgrading lives. We actually work with a lot of startups. That's our unique selling point. We're not looking at the man that is already made, otherwise microfinance business will not work. Microfinance bank, according to Central Bank, or microfinance business is for the man that has about 500,000 Naira maximum. Now if you look at that in dollars, that comes to less than $3,000. So we're not looking at the man that is already made, because if he's made, he might not need us. We're looking at the man that has an idea that we can partner together with him and build his business. We've been doing that. Now when I say a man, I'm not talking of just man as in gender now, because we are not, we are agenda. We're looking at both male and female. So once a man has a, a, a person, a unique individual, has an idea, we are ready to partner. That's our unique selling point. We don't turn our back on any entrepreneur. Even where, even where your business, and that's what I'm talking about this seminar, even where your idea is not well packaged 
and you've been turned away from others, we'll sit down at no cost and offer advisory services to build your business. So, moving forward. I'm an inspiring entrepreneur. How do I access loan from Parallax? Like I said before the break, if you have an idea, no bank runs without, an, without what you call in banking and financial parlance a business plan. Come with your idea. We have officers that will sit down with you and help turn that idea into a business plan. Wow. In credit, there's also something known as a, an appraiser. So from the business plan, your business will be appraised. Okay. So the first thing you must do is to get to the bank. We have our website, www.parallexbank.com, and the address we have right now with State Microfinance Bank. We have branches in Lagos, Ikeja. Okay. So you can you will come into our offices and we'll help package your idea if it's not packaged. Wow. Now, if it's already packaged, we'll find out how far have you gone. One point of note is this. It's not compulsory that you have a bank account. All right. But when you now come to Parallax, obviously you open a bank account. Because if it's about opening a bank account to show your, your bank statement, it's only for a company that has extra that you say will have the bank account. We don't necessarily demand that. We want to see your record. I bought this at Solo Sol Naira. I sold at this. I spent money on transportation. We look at that with our background. You can package this into financial data right, and it gives us an idea and we'll run with that. Sir, this is quite interesting. On the last note, you're going to tell us your success story so far. Yeah. You know that for every uh, every vision like this, some people have to tell the story. Yeah. How, would you, how, would, how would you measure the success so far? Parallax, Michael, we're not amongst them that we don't make noise through so much publicity okay. our noise is made through our success story okay. we've partnered with a lot of people market women we've partnered with artisans uh, there's a body known as the uh, uh, keke owners owner uh, keke riders association of like that's the tricycle yes, we have sponsored many of them all around lagos onigongo maryland abulioja and they are there on the streets you see them on that we have many things we have done micro credits for people that's what i say it has nothing to do with your statement people that make beads jewelry shoes we're partnering with them we're sponsoring them through our micro credits wow so please tell tell our distinguished viewers aspiring entrepreneurs watching us right now few things that really drive their business number one you must have an idea number two package your idea if you don't know how to package your idea come to parallax we'll package your idea for you number three do not think all about money Money will come to the man that meets a need. So coming, an entrepreneur is not really interested in money. Right. Money comes to him as a result of what he's doing. Right. So look for that need, meet that need, and it will co come to you in terms of money. So come to Parallax, your idea, package your idea, and be, be very passionate about your idea. If you are not passionate, it won't sell. So I want to thank you very much for your time. All right, sir. Okay, our viewers, this is where we're actually drawing the curtain. It's all about financial growth in Nigeria. And we have uh, an organization, Parallels Bank, championing the course of what business leaders should look like. My name is Christopher Morris. I'll be right back after this break. All right, so welcome back to What is New TV 247. And today we're having a close up on Parallels Microfinance Bank. They're actually championing the cause for business leaders in Nigeria. And we have some participants. Let them share their thoughts and tell us expectations and so far, how far. Madam, please, can you join us? Sir, hello. Please join us. Um, how are you doing? Uh, please can you introduce yourself? Okay, my name is Bridget Moa. Um, you run a business for that? Yes, I do. What's the most business? Uh, it's a salon. A salon? Yes. Does your business have a name? Yes. Alright, tell us the name of your business. The name of my business is Bridget's Place. Salon with a difference. Well, that's good. So, let's meet you. My name is Daniel Anneli. Yeah, I am a fresh graduate from William Ross University, Computer Science. Wow. Yes, but I... I I, 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 I am an entrepreneur basically. I run the foundation. We are into basically entertainment and um, 
education, with entertainment. Wow. Okay, that's cool. yeah. okay, okay, you just had it now. We have participants. We have someone that runs a beauty spot, and we have uh, somebody that runs a non-governmental organization. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Now let's let's say when you left, what were your expectations coming to the seminar? Well, my expectations are to you know improve my business, take my business to a higher level, okay. and then get a loan to finance my business. Okay, okay, that's cool. So let's look at it from your end. The the, the, the field where you play is quite sensitive, yeah. and there have been a lot of things about assessing funds for organizations like that. Tell us, in a nutshell, um, what were your expectations when you left home to this place? Okay, like you said, the field where I'm going into is sensitive, and um, of course, funds is is like a major factor when you're trying to set up something. And um, when I heard about this, it was like a major motivation to bring me to this place. Okay. And I came basically to to learn more. Lots of businesses are folded up. Okay. You understand, and. Um, most countries like China and Japan have grown because of little, little SMEs that have grown wow. to what they are now. Wow. And so I basically came here to get training, to be able to build and develop what I want to start to get to the next level. It will take favorable to them to get the fund back in order to pay the banks. So if we are now encouraging the microfinance banks to attend to the grassroots by financing activities, they must also go a step further by enlightening their clients, their customers, empowering them so that they will be able to use the fund judiciously. It is noted all over the world that every developed economy is actually driven by entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs can come to start from small scale to become the gates of this world, the Microsoft of this world, the Apple of this world. Without entrepreneurs, without small, medium enterprises, businesses, those economies that we all envy today will not be where they are. And they will tell you, go back and look at the economy of America. It is driven by small businesses. So what Paris is taking upon itself today is to ensure that we produce more catalyst for the economic change of Nigeria. Apart from that, each time we look at uh, statistics, we look at indexes, we realize we have high unemployment rates in Nigeria. We go back, we look at institutions that we kept applying to, I beg to apply, I beg to apply. The microfinance bank, the oil company, the GS. Some people started those facts. The parallels that you have today, they started from a grassroots. Somebody took that initiative, and that is what an entrepreneur actually needs. The initiative. Initiative to take the risk. Initiative to look at an old problem and provide a new solution. You are not actually doing anything fantastic, different from what people have been doing. But you are only doing it differently. I remember those days when we were growing up. Nobody wants to be a tailor or a seamstress. We got into uh, late 80s, early 90s. Everybody wants to be that over. Everybody wants to be fashion designer. They are simply tailors. It's the same problem that we have been having right from the days of Adam and Eve, looking for leaves to cover their nakedness. It's the same problem as that we are looking for clothes to cover ourselves. And some people have actually gone beyond that, gone beyond the needs to create fashion out. I was looking at uh, the agenda and I saw a Greek entrepreneur. 